Bicycle Motocross, better known as BMX. It was a recreational activity born in the 70s, exploded in popularity in the 80s, and was billed an extreme sport in the 90s. Since then, its worldwide status continued to expand, becoming a sanctioned and full medal sport for the 2008 Olympic Games. Now, it's made its way to the classroom. We are going to be building bikes. And then you will have the opportunity to race. ride that bike. Yes. Well, if you're good enough, you can race. Yeah. BMX USA has organized a STEM-based enrichment program that is equal parts science, technology, engineering, math, and athleticism. And it has students and teachers alike buzzing about it. Okay, so this is what you guys are going to be putting together. Is it a BMX? This is a BMX. These are racing BMX bikes. So my goal today is to really answer all of your questions and help you understand what we've learned over the year and a half of having this program out there with kids. You're the teachers. Um, I want to make sure that you're comfortable with this when you leave. So if there's questions, let's get it out of the way now. ESN TV caught up with technology teachers from each Edison Middle School as they were receiving a crash course in bike construction ahead of the district-wide rollout. When I walk through this, uh, talk about assembling the stuff as, as the kids would assemble it. Right. Because I think that's really important for the kids to do the majority of this. And I'll get to that in a minute. When I talk about having the students assemble it, a adult has to perform a safety check of the bike before it goes. You, know, you want to make sure, again, that you check everything really when it's on the ground. But when you're talking about the positioning of this, you still want to, you still want to check this when it's up here rather than getting it down. Most, most of the students already know how to do a lot of this. And so it's going to be um, rather interesting for them. You really want it to be kind of almost, parallel. almost parallel, exactly. You want it to be nice and firm, good. Apart from a safe and positive introduction to the sport, the program is designed as a hands-on engineering activity where students are paired up and given the opportunity to construct their own bike and work stand. You're going to need to find your partner. You're going to need to find a box and then you are going to need to just stand by it for like two seconds and I will tell you what we are doing, okay? So find your partner, find a box, that's yours. With proper supervision, students are handed a deconstructed kit prepared by BMX USA. It contains a work stand, proper tools, frame, wheels and tires, handlebars, pedals, and a lot of excitement. Uh, it's probably going to teach us the basics on like engineering and how, how to chains build work, like how gears and chains work. Well, considering the fact that it's like all broken down, I guess we're going to learn how, how our own bikes at home are like built and how hard it is to actually build it. And since it's built with machines, how hard it is to actually manually build it. The challenge begins here. Basic tool use, an understanding of bike mechanics, and even a bit of imagination are needed to complete construction of a safe and rideable bike. No, it's the other way. I'm saying No, you did it correctly. You did it right. No, you didn't it. no girl, if I put the hole in, if the, this hole no, down the no, bottom. Like this. Yeah, this we have like to push this. hard. Like this? this? What? what? Why would it be like look, that? Look over there. Together, each group, step by step, must safely construct the bike to fit the rider's needs. They take into account seat height, handlebar alignment, and tire pressure. We'll tighten this when it's off of the uh, off the rack. Once each bike is finished and passes a teacher's safety inspection, it's time to ride. Ride like the wind. This is where the fun is ramped up. Apart from a sunny day ride on school grounds, students must measure and calculate how different variations of the bike settings affect the rider's experience, from adjusting the seat height to altering the air pressure in the tires. Records of these findings will be assessed and presented as the final part of the program. So far, this seems to be quite a hit for the middle school students taking part. 
and the excitement will continue to grow as more and more of our students get the opportunity to participate.